All right, what's going on guys? It's another day, another photo shoot. Today we're inside the studio. We're gonna be doing basically a catalog shoot. We have a bunch of uh, dresses and gowns that we're gonna be photographing for a client. Uh, these are photos that are gonna be on the client's website. Um, as you can see, this is a nice big open space that we're gonna be shooting in, but we've gotta put all the stuff in here, the lights, the cameras, everything, and here we go. All right, it works on everybody else's channel, but like in the real world, you gotta set up the stuff yourself. So um, give me a couple of minutes, let me set up everything and I'll walk you through the setup. And boom, yeah, the thumb thing worked now. Okay, not really, like it's a lot of work setting up all this stuff, but let me just walk you through the setup. Um, two light stands back there with the crossbar. Um, this is dove gray in terms of the color of the paper. It's the wide nine foot roll. Over here, we got a two light setup, um, same light stands. I've got my Interfit S1s, um, just running off battery power. Uh, they're basically a 500 watt strobe, um, 86 inch shoot through umbrellas times two. This one over here is going to be my main light. Uh, basically we're going to, for kind of a natural light type look, even though we're in the studio, we don't really want any harsh shadows for this setup. Um, at least that's what we talked about, um, with the client in terms of the mood board and everything. So there's going to be minimal shadow basically. And that's where the fill light comes in. The main light looks great, but then we don't want a big gradient from one side of the photo to the other. And I don't want two lights opposite each other. I just want this second one here just to kind of fill in the shadows on the dark side of the face and to ensure that we get uh, good coverage going all the way down from the model's head to her toes. Cause I mean, after all, we're showing off the dresses. The dresses are the heroes today. Um, we wanna make sure we light them properly and um, basically show them off so that eventually someone buys them. Um, main light is set at nine. Fill light is set at 8.5. So essentially it's a half stop under, but as you can see, it's a little bit farther back and without going into inverse square law and all that, basically that takes away a little bit of the power as well. So you figure that the main light's at nine and this one effectively is at eight. So I'm shooting at F11, ISO 200, shutter speed 1 200th. Um, shooting at F11 because basically I want to get, um, you know, the entire dress in focus. Ideally, we'll have the models moving and whatnot. And, you know, there's no point in going shallow depth of field on, you know, a great background. Now, granted, that would help ease out, you know, any imperfections in the paper, but that's something that, you know, you could potentially do in post, you know, if it's an issue, but you don't want to have a scenario where the clothes are out of focus, um, at least not on this shoot. So, because the clothes are the focus. So I'm going to be shooting at F11, maybe take it down to F8 if, you know, once we get shooting, I see that, okay, I can get the entire outfit in focus and not worry about um, background or whatever. Um, I'll probably tape off a little spot once we get the models in here to test the lights and kind of go from there. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll, sure, I'll make sure to comment back or maybe do a follow-up video or something to answer those. But anyway, let's check in uh, with everyone else and go from there. Is that too high or is that? No, it's good. It feels good. She's like, it's hot in here with that steamer. <laughs> It's also great to have a fan on set. It really helps with dresses and hair. It blows everything around, gives it a little bit of extra movement in your photos. 
So I highly suggest getting one. We've just got a little cheap one that sits on the floor and angles up. Just to show you what the different lights are doing, I'm gonna show you a couple of shots where one of the lights didn't fire. So this client needed three specific shots for each dress. They needed a full length shot from the front, a full length shot from the back, and let's call it a three quarter shot from the front. A little bit tighter in, just to kind of show off um, the top part of the dress. One other must have on set is a steamer. We had 18 dresses to photograph and they all came in one cardboard box shipped from someplace in the Midwest. And without the steamer, all the dresses would have been wrinkled so bad. Make sure you get a good steamer. We also keep some pins and clamps on set as well because the dresses are all slightly different sizes. The models are only one size, so you know not everything's gonna fit perfect. It's so great to have a good makeup artist on set with you. You know, sometimes I, in the past, I've worked with makeup artists that once they're done with their hair and the makeup, they sit down, they're on their phone for the rest of the shoot. A really good makeup artist will be standing next to you, stepping in to, you know, touch up little things as we go because maybe they see something that you don't see while you're concentrating on posing, lighting, expression, so on and so forth. They're looking at the hair, the makeup, and if something's out of whack, they can step in and fix it. There were even a couple of times where Danielle jumped in and uh, had the fan and was working the fan just to make sure that the hair fell in the right spot. And like, it's little things like that that add up and make a big difference at the end of the shoot. What's going on guys? All right, so we just wrapped our shoot. It was great. I'm here with Nikki and Nicole. They did an amazing job, made my job super easy. Like it's so much fun when you don't have to do a whole lot of directing. You can just let the model go and it's just like shot after shot after shot. So thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about you guys. Uh, give me your Instagram, where people can find you or follow you or whatever. Okay, so I'm Nikki Khan and my Instagram is uh, who is Nikki Khan? And that's about it. All right. And <laughs> I'm Nicole Petrie, and my Instagram's just at Nicole Petrie. So. Okay, and I like to do this segment called Random Model Questions. So you can't get any of these wrong, but like, don't look silly. All right. Uh -oh. All right. Where are you guys from originally? Chicago, Wisconsin. Okay. And what's something that you can eat in Chicago or Wisconsin that you can't get here in South Florida? Oh, you go first because I'm a vegan. Deep dish for Chicago, but we're both vegans, so, so we can't really <laughs> eat deep dish pizza. Uh, we go to a vegan restaurant, yeah. you know. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> if you could get a free round trip ticket anywhere in the world, where would you go? Probably Paris. My little sister lives in Paris. She's in fashion school right now there, so I'd want to go visit her there. Maybe Thailand. Okay. Yeah. I love Thailand. Thailand's awesome. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Probably... To be able to like travel without having to drive or take an airplane, like just like pop wherever I want to be. Like oh, that one movie where you could, like... Yeah, transporting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that. How many banks would you rob? <laughs> <laughs> many. <laughs> okay. Um, if you could uh, breathe underwater or live in outer space, which one would it be? Breathe underwater for me. Mm. Probably breathe underwater. Yeah, that'd be okay. Cool. Two mermaids here. All right. <laughs> um, last question. Let's see. Um, favorite favorite show that you've binged recently? 
I'm watching Sex in the City right now for the first time ever. I'm super late on that one, but it's good. Okay. <laughs> Binging. Let's see. Um, lately, I've binged Power. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm <laughs> late on the game to both of those, but all right. All right. All right. So that's it for this one. Follow them. Follow me. Um, leave any comments or questions below if there's something that we didn't cover in this video. I want to say thank you to the team. We had a great come on in here. This is Thank our hair and makeup you. artist. Made my job super easy. Um, I know I don't have to worry about like retouching hardly anything. This guy was on it. Where can people follow you at? Uh, Daniel Passos, makeup artist on Instagram. All right, I'm gonna leave a link to that. And once again, thanks to our great client, the designer, the you know creative artist, uh, Dion. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to his info, and um, without this, you know, none of this could happen. The dresses looked amazing. The hair looked amazing. It really does take a team effort. Like, at the end of the day, I put my pictures out, and people are like, you, you took amazing photos, but it's easy when you're working with professionals that do great hair and makeup, do great posing, great dresses, all of that. Like, share, subscribe, notification bell, all that for all of us. Take care. Peace. Bye. Bye. <laughs>